Welcome to a tutorial on digital electronics and uh, in this tutorial we're going to discuss about the multiplexers okay so there's a request to y'all who are watching this tutorial that uh, please don't confuse this term multiplexer with you know multiplexes where you can you know view movies and all so this term has got nothing to do with that so the multiplexer as we're discussing over here is a digital device that you know falls under the category of combinational logic circuits okay so in all types of digital electronics books you'll find the multiplexer you know categorized under the combinational logic circuits okay so there is another name of the multiplexer which is commonly known as a data selector okay so the multiplexer can also be called a data selector as it selects data lines and transfers the respective data to the output okay so before moving on to the details of the multiplexer let me just mention a few things over here that necessary for your understanding of this uh, working of the multiplexer the multiplexer uh, necessarily should have a single output line okay it should have a single output and it should have multiple inputs okay so there you go our multiplexer that we're discussing today should have single output line and multiple input lines okay so uh, if we just you know uh, imagine this uh, you know square box that I'm drawing over here as the circuit of a multiplexer okay so as said over here it should have a single output line so I draw an output line okay named as Y okay so this is our output line okay so as I said that uh, there could be uh, multiple input lines and now how many input lines should a multiplexer have okay that's a very common and obvious question okay in order to you know tell you about the you know number of lines that a multiplexer should have I should also tell you about the selector lines okay so in a multiplexer what happens is that there are a number of input lines okay and uh, you know several input lines contain different types of binary data okay so if we want to select a particular you know input line out of the many uh, that are available on the multiplexer okay we do that by means of the selector lines that are present on it okay we apply a binary code at the selector lines then the binary code corresponds to the input lines you know decimal notation and uh, its equivalent binary code given in the selector inputs selects the respective input line which you want to select okay and the line that we select at the input transfers the data available on it to the output line okay so before we go on to the details about uh, the selector lines and the input lines and all so let me just tell you uh, okay if n let's say let's assume that n represents the number of input lines on the multiplexer okay and m let's say m uh, be the number of selector lines on the multiplexer okay okay so therefore uh, we have a simple mathematical relationship between the number of selector lines and the number of input lines which could be written as uh, n equals 2 to the power m which says that the number of uh, input lines must be equal to 2 to the power the number of selector lines okay so if let's say we assume that uh, we have let's say two selector lines and our multiplexer would have four input lines okay and if the number of selector lines in a multiplexer would be three it would have eight input lines maximum and similarly if if it has four uh, you know uh, selector lines it would have 16 and uh, 16 input lines it is and so on so there could be variation I mean various types of variation in the uh, you know uh, types of multiplexer that are available in the market okay so in this uh, circuit of the multiplexer let's assume that our multiplexer has let's say okay let's say it has three selector lines okay so here we go three selector lines let me just name them as S0, S1 and S2 all right and then over here uh, let's uh, just uh, corresponding to you know uh, three selector uh, lines the multiplexer should have eight input lines so we have one two three four five six seven and eight 
input lines and I name them as I0, I1, I2, I3 and so on till I7. Okay. So since uh, there was you know a shortage of space over here, I just uh, avoided writing the rest of the uh, you know names of the input lines as it will just you know get it too cramped. Okay, uh, so what happens is that if we just want to select let's say line I2, then in terms of uh, the binary numbers, let me just tell you before uh, I do just uh, mention this uh, fact that there are uh, we can see that there are you know uh, three input I mean three selector lines over here in the multiplexer okay and these are all uh, you know also referred to as selector inputs or address lines and so on so in these uh, I mean out of these you know three selector uh, input lines the S0 line is the LSB of the binary code that we would you know supply at the selector inputs and S2 forms the MSB of the selector uh, I mean of the binary code that we are supposed to input at the selector lines so therefore uh, if we want to select okay let's say line I2 then we have to you know uh, give here the corresponding binary code uh, corresponding to the decimal notation that is 2 of the line I2 uh, at the selector inputs. So in terms of uh, binary numbers as we see here that since there are three selector lines so therefore uh, the maximum number of bits in the binary code that we should uh, you know input at the selector lines would be 3. So our input would consist of maximum 3 bits. Okay. So therefore, on uh, you know, based on three bits uh, of uh, binary uh, data, the decimal notation of two is written as zero one zero. Okay. So if we are just going to apply this code at the selector inputs, then the line I two would be selected. Okay, and the data available on the line I two would be, you know, transferred to the output. Okay. So since uh, these lines contain data, I would rather prefer naming them as D0, D1, okay, and so on till D7. So they represent certain data available at these lines. Okay, so now uh, this is the basic, you know, uh, of what happens in case of a multiplexer. So if I, uh, you know, just uh, try to, you know, demonstrate this fact by means of a truth table, okay and uh, then it would uh, happen something like this let me show you the diagram okay so here we have a diagram in which we have a truth table for a you know um, 8 to 1 multiplexer so let me just uh, tell you this fact that uh, whenever uh, we're uh, talking about a multiplexer we uh, I mean the multiplexer is named in terms of its input and output lines so all the output line, I mean all the multiplexers have a single output line necessarily, okay? And uh, here in this uh, discussion we see that our multiplexer has eight input lines and one output lines. So we call this multiplexer an eight to one multiplexer, okay? Or rather an eight to one mux. So um, there are other types of multiplexers that has four input lines and two input lines. So we would name them accordingly as four to one or two to one mux and so on. So, having said that, uh, let me just come back to our diagram, okay? So here in this diagram you can see uh, that this particular thing over here represents, okay? So let me just take black, okay? So this particular uh, diagram that you can see here represents the diagram of a, you know, 8 to 1 mux, as you can see here it's written over here, 8 to 1 mux logic diagram. So this basically refers to the uh, you know circuit diagram of an 8 to 1 multiplexer constructed uh, with the help of logic gates as you, as you can see here there are several types of logic gates like uh, NOT gate AND gates and an OR gate used at the output okay so here in this diagram as you all can see uh, the various lines you know uh, to the various AND gates uh, that are named as D0, D1, D2, D3 and so on to D7 they represent the uh, data available at these lines respectively okay and we have assumed here a you know an input uh, binary data okay or rather an input 
binary uh, code over here as you all can see here this bit pattern that we have assumed at the inputs uh, to the multiplexer discussion okay uh, we just assume this code okay so based on that if we just look at the truth table so we'll find that whenever the selector input uh, you know where s2 is the msb as i said before and s0 represents the lsb of the binary code input at you know the selector lines so basically these uh, selector input as you can see here the selector lines are the s0 s1 and s2 over here so we have three selector inputs and corresponding to that we have eight uh, input lines to the multiplexer okay as you know described earlier so basically what we find here is that uh, upon uh, you know uh, giving a you know binary input of let's say triple zero I mean zero 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 at the selector uh, input lines we can select the line D0 since this binary code in terms of three bit binary numbers you know represent uh, the decimal notation zero over here as we can see in case of the line D0 so since the binary code 000 in terms of three bit binary numbers represent or rather is the equivalent of the decimal zero so the line D0 is selected over here as you can see and uh, the data available as we have assumed in our example that the data available at line d0 is zero so we have zero at the output okay so this is the output that we are going to get okay if we just apply this code 000 we are going to get the data at the line available at the line d0 which is of course zero over here so we're getting an output of zero okay uh, whenever we select the line D0 in this example okay so now let's um, uh, take another example let's say we want to select the line D4 so in order to select the line D4 we must input a 3-bit binary code of 100 as you can see here 100 okay so where the MSB is 1 and the rest are 0 bits okay at the selector inputs so therefore whenever we input the binary code of 100 we select the data at line d4 as 100 code represents the equivalent uh, you know binary uh, code of the decimal that is decimal notation of the line d4 that which is 4 over here so therefore uh, whenever we input the uh, you know uh, binary code 100 we select the line d4 and therefore the data available at d4 which is 1 in this case appears at the output so here you can see that we've selected the line d4 and the data available at line d4 that is 1 appears at the output that is y okay so this way we can you know construct a 8 to 1 multiplexer okay using uh, logic gates okay and this is pretty much the diagram that you require for the purpose and uh, therefore uh, this is the basic of what happens inside a multiplexer and how it works so having said that um, we uh, you know just round up a discussion on the multiplexers okay so uh, there are several types of multiplexers also available and we can also even you know cascade multiplexers and uh, you know form other multiplexer circuits which are uh, which can handle more number of inputs okay so if we just uh, try and cascade a four to 16 you know uh, or rather a 16 to 1 multiplexer I mean two 16 to 1 multiplexers we can get a 32 to 1 multiplexer also so uh, these will be I mean these details will be discussed later in our uh, tutorials on digital electronics and um, having rounded up the basic part of the multiplexer function in this tutorial we come to the end of our discussion over here so please follow our next tutorial uh, in digital circuits so till then it's goodbye for now and thank you